What's up with the YouTube? I'm back with another video. And um, basically, I want to speak on being a leader versus a follower. But, okay. When you start off, when you start young, of course, you're going to be paying attention because you're a child. You're a baby. You're going to be paying attention. You're going to be a, I'm assuming you're going to be a follower. Because you're paying attention. You're trying to learn from right and wrong, what the correct way to do it, the correct thing to do, the incorrect way. You're learning. you in a learning process. A lot of people skip that process. You can't skip it. It's really not good if you skip it. But who to say? You young, so... You ain't gonna skip it. <laughs> you is not gonna skip. It. But man, when you get, when you, the first day of school, when you're in kindergarten, first grade, you know, you're gonna get butterflies in your stomach. You're gonna be nervous, man, because you, you know, you looking at people and you like, I don't know these folks. I don't know these people at all. And then when you become grown, now you like, Man, I spent years with this man or with this woman. And I wasted time. I did. And I could have been doing so much more. But my mama told, um, wanted me to go to this college and get this degree. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get the degree in art. I like making pictures, drawing pictures. I like to draw, but she wanted me to do music because my the rest of my family members, they did music. So like I'm I'm kind of afraid and then I'm confused because I'm like I'm trying to pursue my dream, man. She want me to do this or he want me to do this or do that and I'm not trying to he want me to, basically, he want me to live where my mama did, live her dream. She almost made it, though, but she didn't. She wasn't accurate, but she almost made it, and she want me to live her dream. Or uh, my dad want me to live his dream. So it's like, I don't know. Should I, you know, should I continue doing what they want me to do? Uh, should I start becoming a leader and doing what I want to do? What do, that's why I always ask y'all, what is your purpose? Find your purpose. Find your gift. And everything else will come with a flow. For real, man. It, you know, it's going to come normal naturally once you find out what you like to do just because so and so did this i wouldn't recommend anyone to copy it because basically this is what you're doing copy and paste okay your big brother he played basketball he was in the league he got the fame just because you the second or third oldest that don't mean you want to pursue what he did. Now, don't get me wrong. You're going to take notes. You're going to ask him what made you. You're going to ask him a lot of questions or her a lot of questions because, you know, that's nice. You know, that's very nice. That's why I, I could never be a hater. I could never be a hater. I love to see people winning. And when I see people losing, I tried to heal them, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, guys is way different from females. Females gonna listen. Now, don't get me wrong, guys to listen too, but guys, they love power. They gotta have power. If they don't have power, you useless. 
But then once you give them power, you useless again. And then you get took advantage of. That's why I say, man, it start with you. It start with you becoming a leader. But first, when you become a leader, you got to be a follower. You got to pay attention. You got to learn from right and wrong. You got to, man, you got to stay focused, man. And it's really not hard, but at the same time, it can be difficult at times in situations, in moments, peer pressure, anxiety, asthma attack, you know. But basically, number one, your anxiety. It, once you... Once you get hurt so many times, you you just don't know what to do anymore. Cause you, it's like you gave up, but you didn't give up. If you know what I mean, you didn't give up. But at the same time, you really don't know what to do, where to start, who to trust. We all we always you know assume, oh this supposed to go like this. This, you don't supposed to do that. Who told you? I ain't gonna lie. People, I'm 22 years old. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't have any seeds yet. I'm gonna keep saying it yet. Come on now, but I do. I don't hear nothing. And the girl I'm with now, I can say, I believe... I can't say too much, but yeah, man, it's, it's a journey that everyone takes in life. You know, it's a journey, man, and a lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people don't understand that they in a journey, they in a movie, they on this planet for a reason. Everybody... Uh, I don't even deserve to be here. You got to think again. That's why you know smarter than the people you hang with. You know smarter than them. And I want you to know that. But it start with you. Then the people around you They'll be like, oh, yeah, I can see him. That's why you see matchmakers. You see people saying, ah, oh, they look good together. Or I can see him with her. Yeah, they look good together. But do that happen? No. No, it don't. Not all the time it don't. It, it don't. Sometimes it just be the personality, okay? See, at first, he was ugly. And she look good. But his personality, would he speak out his mouth, would draw me to him or her. So I'm not saying, that's why I'm not a judgmental person. I don't judge people. I don't, I thought I would. But no, nah, I. I